Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with my ColourPop haul. Uh, this time of year, ColourPop is running all sorts of sales, and they do the whole Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Cyber Week, and a lot of sales. So it's a good time to order from ColourPop. And so I picked up a couple of things to go ahead and replacements, and I bought a rescue palette as well. So uh, why don't we get into it? and I'll explain more as we go. As far as what I have on today, I did go ahead and do the ColourPop Pretty Fresh and this is in 55 Neutral, so that's what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and use, um, let's see, the MAC and this is the Bronzer and Light Rosy, uh, Light Radiant Rosy, so that's what I have on there. As far as the blush, again, I went ColourPop, and this is one of the ones you can get over at Target. This is Dancing Queen, and um, it does have some shimmer in it, so that's what I have on as far as my blush goes. As far as uh, the highlighter today, I went with Master Chrome by Maybelline, and this is their Molten Peach, and so this is, yeah, let's see, yeah. There we go, that's the color. Again, it's molten peach, so it's going <clears> to <throat> try to knock the camera out, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it did, so that's good. Um, I did go ahead and use Act Natural, which is a ColourPop uh, mascara. And let's see, as far as what I have on the eyes today, um, I do have one of uh, the palettes I got in a haul, or in my latest haul. And this is one that I think it's actually sold out twice, and I haven't, it took me this long to um, go ahead and get it. It's the Winnie the Pooh Sweetest Can Be palette, and that's what I have on my eyes today. And as far as being a really pretty palette, this one just is. Um, also, probably really good everyday palette. Um, what I did today was I went ahead and used the terracotta, or the terracotta shade um, in the crease, and then I used one, some of it up on the brow bone in the outer corner. And then I did go ahead and use this really pretty gold, and it's a shimmery gold, and I used it all the way from the bottom up to here, and then I went a little bit um, on the brow bone in there. Um, I did use this green right in the middle of the lid, and then I went ahead and used this green on the outside of the lid, and um, yeah, and then again this gold is on the inner corner, so um, I think it turned out pretty well. I also used uh, the terracotta down in the bottom as far as an eyeliner, and then some of the um, yeah, the gold shimmery color uh, right on top of the brown or the terracotta. So this way that the eye look came out. And I really liked it. Um, I knew that uh, that I probably like this palette, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. And um, as an everyday kind of eyeshadow palette, I think it's really, really pretty. And so, um, yeah, I would definitely suggest picking this one up. As far as what I have on my lips today, um, I did go ahead and get the Such a Flirt. And this is a whole bunch of lippy pencils um, as a restock. And so this is what I have on today. Um, and I'm not sure what color this one. It's good and plenty. So yeah, that's a classic for them. And so that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and got as a rescue palette, and I've been min uh, meaning to go ahead and pick this up for a while. And finally, the sale sort of got me and I picked it up and I got the Mad About You. And um, for those times when I'm testing a palette and it doesn't work and I have to get going and I don't have time to wash everything off and redo it again, I kind of grabbed this because I figured it would have enough colors in it that 
well, first off, mostly I do colorful looks, so in that way it's really helpful. But for those times that I'm working with the palette and things aren't working, I will now have some matte shadows to go back to um, that are all sorts of different colors. I mean, who doesn't like a rainbow, right? And uh, be able to go ahead and repair, <laughs> repair a look that I don't have time to change. So... I thought that this would be a really good palette to have on hand and it's really pretty too. It just doesn't have any real red in it because this is more of a burgundy and then this is purple. So and these two down here are brown. So it it doesn't have that in it, but other than that, it has a beautiful selection of a whole bunch of colors going from pastel down to jewel tone, and yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I'm i really glad that I got this one. In fact, I might just sit there and look at it for a while because it's so pretty. It's pretty. And... Um, so yeah, that's what I got from ColourPop as far as uh, my haul. And like I said, um, I always look forward to this time of year um, because ColourPop does so much, so many sales. And they come out with things, and then when you think they're done, they come out with something else. And so yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, I did forget to mention that I am wearing the Incognito Concealer by Wet n Wild. I meant to get a pretty a pretty fresh concealer but for some reason that slipped my mind I guess I was really enjoying the colors and wasn't thinking about concealer and then I also had the wet and wild uh, powder on as far as a finishing powder and this is sheets lit and it's actually supposed to be a highlighter but I have been known to use it as an all-over uh, finishing powder and so um, yeah that's all that I got. Um, that was my ColourPop haul. And uh, I hope that you like the video and that um, everything's going well with you. And I'll see you later. So have a good day. Bye.